Don't you remember you told me to love me, baby? You said you'd be coming back this way again. I knew I wasn't going to know all the words, right? Good, everybody, man. It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz, the piano tutorial man. Back again with another one, two, three. Yeah, you better put that mega in this one. Mega classic, no doubt about it. Yes, indeedy, feed the needy. <laughs> you can't get more classic than superstar as performed maybe not originally performed uh cuz he's uh, he wasn't a part of the carpenters who actually did the song first but he sure enough took the song and made it a classic did he not so this is obviously based off of Luther Vandross aka Lufa and as you can see if if you look on the screen over there you know I, I spelled the way you know you know black folk be trying to call him you know Lufa L O O F A. Oh, I love Luther. Oh, I love Luther. The man's name is Luther. But anyway, nah, but we're going to have some fun with this one. This is a definitely beautiful classic song. If you don't know what this song is, you never heard this song before, you might be on the wrong channel because we, we do classics up on this piece. <laughs> do some modern stuff here and there, but you know. So, okay, so this song, um, it's always linked to a song that's called Until You Gone. Usually you all, you always will hear like Until You Gone first. And then all of a sudden you hear this long piano interlude. And then all of a sudden Luther would just come in with Don't you remember? And that interlude, all they're really playing is the verse of the song. So when I show teach you how to play the verse of this song, you can use that for the interlude. It's the it's the same chords, all right? But let's start where, where he actually starts singing, which is Don't You Remember, right? All right, so we're going to start with a B major 9, double B on the left hand, 
B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat. Don't you remember you told me? All right, this is B flat minus seven. Double B flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. Told me. I'm sorry. You want to do A flat minus seven? Let's do a this inversion. Double A flat on the left hand. G flat, A flat, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. All right, and that's G flat major seven. Double G flat on the left hand. G flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. Then you wanna go to, this is nothing but just an E major seven over a G flat. So I know it has all that crazy stuff up there on that screen up there, just E flat, I mean E major seven over G flat. That's what's on the chord sheet. Uh, double G flat on the left hand, E, A flat, B, and E flat on the right hand. And you play those, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. You play those five chords over and over again for, for a minute. Don't you remember you told me you love me? A uh, baby Play it again You said you'd be coming back This way again Again Baby, 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 baby So when you get to that baby, 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 baby Because you don't know what else to say You don't have to go to the E major 7 over G flat that time that time, once, once you do the baby, 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 you just stay on there. And then you go to just a straight up E major seven, not over G flat. You just go, I love you. Just go straight to an E major seven. Double E on the left hand. E, A flat, B, and E flat on the top. And then you go back to B major nine. Double B on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat on top. All right, so one more. So that's the chorus. That's the chorus. That's what you play every time for the chorus. Let's run through that one more time. I'm gonna speed it up, okay? Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? That's the first time through. You said you'd be coming back this way again. That's the second time through. Baby, 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 baby. Third time through. Then go straight to the E major seven. Da, da, da. And then back to B major nine. All right, so let's go. So that's it. He goes to that chorus has done a lot in that song. Now you want to get to the long ago. Again, this section I'm getting ready to show you right now. You can use this for that long piano interlude that's on the original like I said, with the until you're gone part, and then it's just this long piano part. You can use these same chords. Same chords will work, okay? So this is long ago. So you have an E flat minor nine, double E flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. Long ago. And then you can go to an E flat minor seven over D flat. Uh, that's double E, f I'm sorry, double D flat on the left hand. And then you have B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat on the right hand. Again, that on a chord sheet, it just says it, because this is an inverted. Over here is an inverted E flat minus seven. See what happens when I put it over E flat, okay? Then, But we're putting it over D, D flat, all right? And then your next chord will be, you can keep your right hand exactly where it is cause, and just drop your left hand down to B because that's your B major nine right there. Double B on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Then you want to go to G flat over B flat, double B flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, and G flat on the right hand. Um, and then you want to go to um, A flat minor seven. Double A flat on the left hand. And we're going to do it this way. G flat, A flat, B, and E flat on the right hand. 
and then you're going to play G flat over B flat again. Now you can do it. Now the way I showed you the last time was this way, but when you get down there, if you want, you can play it this way. So I'll show it to you this way. So double B flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. Now, if you want to go ahead on and play it the way you played it earlier, that's fine. You can do it this way too. That's up to you. Okay. Um, then you want to do, you want to stay on the B flat, but you want to do F minor seven with your right hand. So on the chord sheet, it will say F minor seven over B flat. That's double B flat on the left hand, F, A flat, C, E flat on the right hand. And then we're going to go to this nice chord, which is an E7 sharp 11, double E on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D and E on the right hand. And if you really want to be slick, you can do something like this. Well, what did I do? You can do that. That's an E9 sharp 11. That gives you an even slicker sound. So if you rather just substitute this with the, all you got to do is just, you keep your left hand on double E if you want to do that. And then you, you'll just do A flat, B flat, D, and then put the G flat right there. If you rather, that, that, that's even tight. So here's the two different chords. You can either use this chord or this one. They both are just, man, they, they hot, man. Okay, so, <laughs> and then you go back to, so um, go back to E flat minor nine again, double E flat left hand, G flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. And um, you can go real quick, you know, the, you can do, um, are we gonna, yeah, we're gonna do B flat minor, uh, over D flat real quick. We'll go B flat minor over D flat, double D flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand, and then you can drop it down to E flat minor over D flat. So you'll go like, like that, come something like that. B flat minor to, okay, and that E flat minor is G flat, B flat, and E flat on the right hand. So don't, so it's just like that. Okay. And then you can go down to your B major nine again, double B on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat on the right hand. And then you want to go down to B flat minus seven, Double B flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. Then you want to go to, um, just for the fun of it, I'll show you the other way of playing A flat minor seven so that you don't have to, you know, just to switch it up a little bit. So you can, I, I showed it to you this way several times, so you should know how to play it like this. But this is like root position right here. Double A flat on the left hand, A flat. B, E flat, and G flat. So you can go between this and that, or do both of them. Just go. See what I'm saying? That you, you could do it that way, where you're just doing both of them. You know, it's up to you. Just practice doing that. And then after that, you're gonna go back to G flat over B flat. Um, double B flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. Or you can always take this G flat and play it up here. All right, B flat, D flat, G flat up there. It doesn't matter if you do it down here or if you do it up here or do you both again. You know what I'm saying? That's just a way that you can just, when you need, need to fill in something because it's a long pause, you can always do something like that, okay? Um, and then you have, this is F minor seven over B flat again, okay? That's what that's what it will say on the chord sheet, so don't worry about all that mess you see up there. <laughs> all right, double B flat on the left hand, F, A flat, C, E flat. And last time we went to that nice jazzy chord, but this time you're just gonna go to a straight up, <laughs> just a straight up B flat chord. So you can do double B flat on the left hand, F, B flat, 
D on the right hand, or you can always take this F and play it up here. All right, B flat D F, or you can do both again. All right, so that's the whole verse right there. So that was a lot of chords. So now let me put it together and play it so that you can see how you put all those chords together. And we're basically finished the song. There's just one other section I got to show you, and that's the very end, the little vamp at the end, and it's just four chords. That's it. It's just four chords, and then we'll be done. So the verse. Long ago. Play that jazzy chord. I love that chord. Then go back to and remember when he does that on the song. Then go back to the chorus again. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? And I already showed you how to play that, right? So, okay. So that's the main parts of the song. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Now, there's a section after he does the chorus, I guess the verse, the second time, and all that, where they just play just these chords before you get to the end. It'll be a section where he's kind of ad-libbing. I wrote, I called it bridge on the chord sheet, I guess you can say it's a little bridge. And what they're doing is they're doing an E flat minor nine. It's almost like they're doing the verse again, but they'll just go right here and they'll do E flat minor over D flat. And then they'll go to B major nine and stay there. And then go right back to the E flat minor nine again. E flat minor over D flat and then B major nine like that <laughs> that's what they do and then he and then they just go back to playing the verse normally again so those three chords are E flat minor nine there's only one time in the song it does it and it's like it's after he does the second verse and then he does the chorus again don't you remember and then there's like a little section he's it's like almost like he's ad-libbing a little bit and then they just do this it's just for like 30 seconds of the song so when that section comes up it's just E flat minor nine there's there are chords that we played already double E flat on the left hand G flat B flat D flat F on the right hand and then E flat minor seven over D flat. These are the chords. We already know these chords, all right? Double D flat left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Keep your right hand right where it is. Take your left hand down to B. And there you go, B major nine. Those are the only three chords that they play and they do it twice. It's just that when they hit this B major nine, it's like you hold it for eight beats. So it'll be like one, two, three, four five six seven and then he'll do it again it's like you'll hear like back to the verse again it's either the verse or the chorus is either is one of those two sections okay and um you could that melody i was playing was long ago. that's all i was doing f e flat b flat so 
like that. Play the chord. All right, that's all I was doing. Now, the only other thing, at the end of the song, there's just this vamp, and the song fades out with these chords being played. And again, these are chords that we already... Oh, actually, one chord is different. I'll take that back. So you'll have... And, and that's it. Those are the last chords of the song. They just do it over and over again. B major 9. You know this chord already. Double B on the left hand. B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. And then all this is, is just a D flat major chord over B. So you keep your left hand on B and your right hand is A flat, D flat, and F. And then you go down to B flat minor seven, double B flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand, and then E flat minor seven, double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat on the right hand. And the song fades out with those chords. end it on the E flat minor 7 and with that you now know how to play Don't You Remember by Lufa <laughs> alright so hopefully y'all have fun with that one and uh, I definitely will catch y'all on the next one peace